Number 27. The following nuclei do not lie in the band of stability. How would they be expected to decay? And then we have uranium. By the way, we just opened up memberships for the channel, and one of the tiers is the uranium tier. So if you want to be a member, you want to support the channel a little bit more, and thank you so much for considering. You could always do that. But anyway, back to the video. So we have uranium, right? They're saying that it already doesn't lie in the band of stability, which means that this is an unstable nucleide, and it's so unstable that it's classified as being radioactive, which means that it's going to start decaying and decaying until it finds a nucleide that is stable. Now, how is this going to decay? There's tons of different types of decay modes, right? There's beta emission, positron emission, electron capture, or alpha admission. Those are the major four. Now, the first thing always is to always look at that atomic number, because if we're talking about big, bad nuclei, right, atomic numbers that are greater than 83, it's got to lose substantial amount of mass very quickly. And the alpha admission is the one that drops a mass number by four, and it drops an atomic number by two, and depending on how many alpha emissions you undergo, you can, pr you can get down to low numbers pretty quickly. And for uranium, uranium has an atomic number, and just know that the atomic number is always going to be the lower number of the two. The atomic number for uranium is 92. This is greater than the lucky number 83. So... I mean, we got our answer. We're a huge atom, right? We're a huge nucleide. We have an atomic number greater than 83. We got to lose mass and atomic number quickly. And the only way to do that is by emitting a alpha particle, aka a helium, into the atmosphere. And that's it. So alpha emission all the way. I don't have to talk about N to P ratios. All I'm just shooting for is that atomic number, and there you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. Um, thank you so much for your support, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. See you soon. Bye-bye.